Choose your gender. Define your genetic structure. Pick your fur. Choose your fur style. Pick your main color. Choose your detail color. Good choice. Adventure is in the air. Despite the toxic smog hidden beneath the twigs and branches below. Oh no, they got you! Reeled in and off to a bad start. Tribes are out for scronky scrap. Your whiffling is up next. A tribe tug of war there. Bet you can do just that. Tribes caught a fluffy hulk. Better watch out, it's no pet. A big barrel bull. Made that, I knew it. They couldn't be shut up. One hulk is the loose. Wushu is ready to go! That emergency kit is from the old days when you needed to pack a punch to survive. Wow, bet that knock makes a tight fist. Things like this still carry echoes from the past. Chuck, chuck, chuck. Made that one dead. The chug yard, where they parked the choo choos and fueled them up. It's one of the few places that's aged well. It used to look like a dump. It's easy to walk the line when your karma is in balance. Spilled liquid soap is always a slippery slope. Who'd expect that? A bubble bobble big enough to go bang. A tried flip flonker will throw you in at the deep end given the chance.
This box once tailed a chugger chugger. Now it's just off track. Tribes always scavenging for scrap, but they should have stuck to looting instead of paying around. One of the bonkers busy ran banging the door. This is your business. Blows up in your face. Yes, you can do anything. Only the sky is the limit. Now, let's take this back to Earth. Wow, you really took that all the way down to the end. In flames. It's a wonder some of these up and down still work. Guess they built machines better in the past. All the ball of Gizmo. I need to brush up on my Wongo, but I think he says he's surprised the tribe got a sprocket off ground. I have a feeling he believes it was you that caused the bang at the yard. Not sure he's happy about that. Anyways, he says you owe him one, and he has something in mind. He's almost done with his latest creation, a Mechdom. He just needs a little more scrap to get all the pieces fixed stuck. Why, why, not talk? Please, don't ask him too many questions. Wondo is an old language, and the last time I heard it was in the old village. Popong, Pipilu? I think he likes you. From what I can tell, he wants to strike a deal. He also says you owe him one. Popong, Pipilu? He can't leave his underyard, so if you help him salvage the scrap he needs from an old skronk just outside, he'll let you take the Mechdon for a ride into the dead zone. They're short of breath and death to this zone. Better take care. He who half breathes, half lives. For those that work metal, scrap from mech skronks like this are heavyweight. There are only a few beasts our world is dying, and all of them could have been avoided. The muck pumps are sly, patiently waiting for prey to meet the dead oil service. The grease monkey's mechdon is built sturdy, just like himself. Can you imagine how this place used to look before the dead oil flood? In 
in the old world, roads like this really led somewhere. Now, most of them lead to disaster. Feeling about this goes all the way down to the start. Start like a snack, and you end with a ride down the intestinal canal. That's too close to the end station. Then, underway.